First pitch is moments away in San Francisco. Major League Baseball on the show is next. short drive away from Candlestick Park, but it sure feels like we're on the point. A cold night at AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight it's the first of four between the East leading Miami Marlins and the San Francisco Giants. Hi again everybody, Matt Vaskersian welcoming you into another edition of Baseball on the Show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. All right, let's check in on the numbers on these guys so far this year. And they're definitely going to have to battle the elements out there a bit tonight. They've got the cold, they've got the wind, and that's not an ideal situation. But in many ways, it's much tougher on the hitter than it is the pitchers. So I'd expect each of these guys to be working in with the fastball. Get it in a little bit more than usual. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins as they'll align themselves like this here tonight. And their matchup will be a tough one as they're set to face the former Cy Young Award winner, right-hander Jake Peavy. And there you see a look now at the Giants' defensive alignment behind him. D. Gordon makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Second baseman, D. Gordon. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bunt attempt. Well, it didn't take too long here to try and show off those wheels, did it? First pitch of the ball game, in fact, but a great play there to get this ball quickly and keep him off base. Christian Yelich will get his first shot now. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win. Now here's the first pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. E.K., we take a look at the home nine as they take the field here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. And they were able to put together a good performance in the victory yesterday afternoon. So they'll see if they can keep it going here. 0-1 oh, is a circle change that's over for a called strike. He may not throw a ton of change-ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. No. But fastball misses two and two. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. Two two pitch on the way. Hit hard but fouled off to the left and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Ready with another two two. Got him. Wow, how nice would it be to set the tone and come out here and get a great one, two, three first inning. He's looking good on the mound right now, and it could be a long day. Giancarlo Stanton will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Here's the first offering. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and oh. you got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. <laughs> so would the guy on the mound. The 1-0 pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. You still come after him now on 2-0? 
I think you have to be a little careful, but yeah, I don't think you can just give up on him. Now the 2-0 home. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. <gasps> Called strike that time, and it's even at 2-2. Two two. Now the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Starting lineup put together by Bruce Bochy for the host Giants looks like this. They'll match up against the fellow you see right here, the veteran right-hander Henderson Alvarez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Here now is Nori Aoki to start things out in the home half of inning number one. Side, but that's ruled a strike nothing in one Eric you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first they've been on a real nice run of late winning five of their last six games and it's been a perfect start to the road trip too they get the three game sweep that started out now they come in here full of confidence and looking to keep that streak going And the pitch. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. Another 0-2 coming. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Yeah, the crowd will get on him here. But leading off the bottom of the first... I don't think there's any intention behind that. You don't want to put your guys in a first inning hole just to prove a point. In is the center fielder, Angel Pagan. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Runner. Here comes the 1-0. Runner goes for second. Swing and a liner. Ready now on one and one. Fastball called strike, one and two. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Here comes a one, two. A swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he'll get over to me. Oh, it kicks off his glove. How did he do that? 
Well, you know, he does have a long way to go to get to this ball, but geez, once he get there, catch it. I think he's going to tell you that he should have caught that ball, and the official score, he's going to agree with him, too. He's going to get smacked with an error. Buster Posey will get his first opportunity here, currently leading the league in two of the three Triple Crown categories. First pitch on the way. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And there's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. He waits. Now the pitch. Uh -huh. Fastball called for strike two. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him, trying to get a punch out. None out, runners at first and second. He's ready, now the pitch. And Whoa. smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Seems like he's missed his spots a few times here already. Yeah, he hasn't been overly sharp, that's for sure. It hasn't caught up to him yet, but he's going to need to find that rhythm. Big pitch here, one and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Two, two. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. First and second here with nobody out. The 2 2 one more time. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another try at 2 2. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Stanton has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. So two men are on with one man out, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. The next pitch. A high strike there, and it's one and one. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with. But I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Here it comes, two and one. And a good swing there by Pence, but he got the bat through a bit too quickly as this will find the seats foul. Here he comes on two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back four. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work at corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. 
Full count pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the run will score as the Giants stake themselves to an early 1-0 lead. And it's been a good start for him here so far, that's for sure. You get that first run of the game here on the RBI double, but that second runner has to put on the brakes at third, so it might take him one more hit to really get him off and running. Brandon Belt will stand in for the first time, and he's seen that average climb during his current seven-game hitting streak. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard. But if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. From the stretch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball. And he runs it right by him. Joe Panic will stand in for the first time here. He's got that average up over 340 here entering play. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Giants get one on the Hunter Pence double. Second inning coming up. It's 1-0 San Francisco. Marcelo Zuna will stand in now, trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished four for five at the plate. First offering on the way. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. One oh on the way. First two pitches off the mark here. It's two and oh. Very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. 2-0 on the way. Too tight with that one. 3-0. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. and Now it's 3-0, and and the tide is not working in his favor. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And remember, he's coming off a loss in his last start. So if he keeps doing things like walking the leadoff guy, he'll be in trouble here too. Michael Morse will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. And here's the first pitch. Too low, 1 and 0. Oh. Just because he's thrown five straight balls doesn't make this an automatic take, especially if for a guy in this part of the lineup. PV set. Now the pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. 
Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. A runner at first with no outs here. One one on the way. Good time to take something off, but it's two and one now. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Two one. He's running towards second. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Pagan comes on now and he has it one down. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Martin Prado will take his first cuts here with the runner still at first and one away now. First pitch coming. Sweet. Cut ball. fastball inside. Ball one. one -oh. The Giants have struck first here. They lead it one nothing as we play the second. Comes set. Yeah, yeah. Now the pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. The one one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here comes the one-two. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. That's the 2-2 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Gonna go. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Third strikeout for him now. Got him out front a little bit here. He winds up turning this pitch over nicely, and he gets him to swing right through it. Catcher Jared Salt on the Maki is in now as he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Four home runs, nine driven in. Come on, guys. The 1 0. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. A runner on first with two away. The 1-1. One, one. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And he'll just make the tag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Giants on top, one to nothing. Brandon Crawford will come forward now, back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Here's the first offering. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. The 1 0 home. Fouled back. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the 1-2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two two now. 
I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? The 2-2. Two -two. Now Crawford swings and pulls this one on the ground to second. One away. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Joaquin Aria will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. First pitch coming. Low for ball one. One out, nobody on. 1-0. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. The 2-0 -oh on the way. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3-0. and oh. And this is just a guy that's going to be happy to take a walk, so I'm a little bit surprised that they haven't challenged him a little bit more from the mound. 3-0 is on the way. Taking all the way, it's 3-1 and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the 3-1 pitch. Yeah. Fastball in there, 3-2. and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Jake Peavy will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Now the first pitch. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering and the runner moves into second on the play. Yeah, this early in the game, to me, this is the right decision. You give that guy at the top of your lineup a chance to drive in a run with a simple base hit. Here's Nori Aoki. As he ball. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The 1-0. Look out, 2-0 now. Looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. 2-0 count, the pitch. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Right back inside with the fastball. This time, he got the call. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A 2-1 offering. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Here's the two and two offering. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Let's go, Diane. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco. We play two innings. It's one to nothing.
Donovan Solano will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Donovan Solano. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's PV back to work now as Jake gets ahead here with the good pitch. It's 0 and 1. Here it comes. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field. Oh, and he misses it. And he is in there. Yeah, it looked like a fairly routine play there. Don't know if he took his eye off it or what, but he winds up basically whiffing on the catch, and that's going to wind up a two-base error. Stepping in now, Henderson Alvarez. And he pops up the bunt attempt. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Here's D. Gordon now. As the first ball. pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. One ball, no strike. Get out of here, Marvin. A look from Peavy, and now the pitch. Strike. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this is line foul back over the Giants' dugout. The 1-2 one and two with one away. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that should tie our ball game as this is down for extra bases. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. And Gordon will make it all the way around to third base. He's got himself a triple. Yeah, and no matter how many of these you see in your lifetime, this is still one of the most exciting plays in all of baseball. You can see he's not stopping round in second base, and he makes it all the way to third there with an RBI triple. Christian Yelich will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And a backhanded try, but it's just out of reach, and that's going to score the run from third. Well, with one out and the infield back, he knows he can pick up the RBI with just a simple ground ball. But he winds up with more than that. Is This is going to find a hole for an RBI single. Carlos Stanton now as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half it's strike one runner at first here one man out from the belt kicks and deals just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to Belt, and they turn the double play. That ends the inning. So two runs on two hits, one error, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins two and the Giants one. Angel Pagan makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now the first pitch. 
Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. One zero pitch now. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. One one pitch on the way. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And one away now in the San Francisco third. Now if you're a pitcher, you have to love pitching at this place. You've got a cool night here, making the air a little heavy. And this ball just has zero carry to it. Buster Posey will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on the way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. The pitch. And he lays off here. It's a ball and a strike to the Giant backstop. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. I'll tell you, he's already hit one guy. He is not afraid to work inside. No, and as much as I hate to say it, pitchers have just as much right to the inside part of the plate as you do. Line toward the gap in left center, and that's going to be down for extra bases. Posey will take the turn and head for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. When you're a hitter, there's only two times where you know for sure you've got a hit. One is when you hit one into the seats, it feels so good. And two is when you split the outfielders like that. Right off the bat, you know it's a double. The only thing in your mind, can I go for three? Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. As he'll take a look at ball one. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. That's now 10 doubles for him on the season. The 1-0 now to Pence. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now's our chance. Let's go. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Here's a ground ball to first, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base, but with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Brandon Belt will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And a base hit. So a very good at bat there as the run is in to make it a 2-2 ball game. You'll see this again. This pitch bunches him up and kind of jams himself here. But he manages to get the barrel of the bat in front of it and he drives home that run from third. Here's Joe Panic. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. Let's go, Giants! Let's go, Giants! Pause, now the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1 and 1. One one home. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Man at first with two out in a two two ball game. Ready with the two one. 
And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. Three innings complete, and we are tied 2-2. Marcelo Zuna will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Center fielder number 13, Marcel Ozuna. Come on, let's get the out here. Here's the first offering. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. Oh, Off the plate down. again, and it's 2-0. Two times here they've gone away, both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. Here comes the 2-0. Too high, and it's 3-0. Definitely looking fastball there, and, and you know, he got one, but good recognition not to go up and chase it. Here comes the 3 0. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Here he comes on 3-1. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Three and two, here it is. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The 3-2 one more time. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one. He swings and misses for the first down. And you know, pitching's a lot more than just velocity. This guy, he's living proof. If you hit your spot, change speeds, you can get guys out with an 87, 88 mile an hour fastball, and he did it right there. Michael Morse will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch coming. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. Two runs on two hits and one error so far for the Marlins. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Ready now on one and one. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and lay off. Here comes the 2-1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down three and one, I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. The three one is on the way. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Here's the three two pitch. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. On to first, and Peavy sets down the first two easily here. Martin Prado will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch to him. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Now here it comes. 
Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Pagan is under this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. Boy, and a nice inning on the mound for Jake Peavy. And we remain tied at two apiece. Brandon Crawford will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball not hit all that well out towards Stanton in right. One pitch, one away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. Joaquin Aria will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First offering on the way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now here's the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Pitch on the way. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Here's the one, two. And this will be fouled away. Now another one, two. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Some guys with two strikes, they become dead right field hitters. You can see here, he lets the ball get in on him a little bit, doesn't try to do too much with this thing, then just rides it right into right field. That's well done right there. Into the box now, Jake Peavy. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. Boy, and slow out of the box that time as he's tagged out quickly. Well, this is a nice job here of giving himself up. You see him square and put this ball down over toward the right side of the infield, and that's just where you want it to be. They do put the tag on him, but hey, he gets the job done. Here's Nori Aoki. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Here's the 1 0. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Giants leave one. We'll head to the fifth, tied at two. Jared Saltalamacchia will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The catcher number 39, Jared Saltalamacchia. Here's the first offering. Here's PB back to work now as Jake gets ahead here with the good pitch. It's 0-1. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Now the pitch. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike.
Here's the 1-1. One, one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The 2 2 coming. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Here this is one more time on show track. You can see he checked his swing there. And I think he did so in time, but you can clearly see that that pitch is in the strike zone. And I think ultimately that was a called third strike. Standing in now, Donovan Solano. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively, and this sure ain't going to help. Let's go, Giants! And now a pitch on the way. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Here comes the one one. Up high. Two and one now. Here's the two and one pitch. Fouled straight back. Here now the two two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now three and two. Yeah and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean that was so high he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. The three two pitch. On a big swing, and he crushes this ball deep. My goodness, a long home run. So a solo shot down the line in left as the Marlins move out in front now, three to two. Well, he'd retired five in a row until just now, but not anymore. He'd been on cruise control, but all of a sudden, one little mistake will snap you back down to earth in a hurry. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and a right-hander get loose. In now, Henderson Alvarez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. one oh on the way and a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike one one on the way couldn't lay off that time and it's one and two high strikes probably not on the docket for places he wants to be yeah I mean it's no secret you've got to keep the ball down against a team like this if you go up every once in a while with a fastball you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitchers. Well, I'm sure he'll say the damage is already done after serving up the lead, but, you know, that's good fortitude to come back with the punch out. Now, he needed that. Here's D. Gordon now. As yep. he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Ooh. That's one of his best pitches tonight. Now the pitch. There's a line drive. Caught at first by Bell. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. Middle of the night here at China Basin, and Miami has taken a 3-2 lead. Angel Pagan.
will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. First pitch coming. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Here's the 1 0. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2 0. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Now the 2-0. Now a sharply hit ball and maybe a chance to get that run right back as that's through into right field for a leadoff single. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole and that average, it'll climb a few more points. Buster Posey will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch coming. First pitch here is a slider, but that's taken up and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Set now the pitch. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Two runs, five hits, and one error in the ball game for San Francisco. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Line hard, but foul. Here's the two and two home. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball, one gun. Right now, that fastball's been so good, he really hasn't needed any of his secondary pitches. Another good heater there. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. First here with two gone in the inning. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. Now the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. He's ready now, the pitch. Now the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. Still a 3-2 ball game. Christian Yelich. Will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. Now here's the first pitch. 
up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. Stay up. Let's try to play with your eyes open. Now the 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Here comes the 2-0. This is hit toward the hole and out of reach for Crawford. It's into left, a base hit. Calm yourself already. Some guys, you almost do them a favor if you pitch away from them. Here, he's just doing what he does best. Great balance here. Good swing path, and he drives it the other way. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants' dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change here as that'll be all tonight for Jake Peavy. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher coming on, and it's the veteran lefty, Javier Lopez. Javier. Giancarlo Stanton will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is low, ball one. The 1-0 pitch. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. The 1-1. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient, because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. From the stretch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Now the 2 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Uh, this is just an excellent pitch right here. Location right at the bottom of the strike zone. And if you don't get him to swing through it, hopefully he's going to hit that ball on the ground somewhere and you'll get ground ball outs. But they'll take that strike out for out number one. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As the first pitch oh. to him is taken low and away for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. He seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Here's the 2-0 pitch. In there, 2-1. That's a great call there on 2-0. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they drop the hammer on him. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Here's the two one pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. He's set. Now the pitch. Now a little tapper here up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Get the out here. Run. here comes a two-two. 
And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is into right field, a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hitting at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. And now the left-hander Jeremy Affelt is up and throwing in the Giants' bullpen. Here's Michael Morse now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. Strike you From the belt, the pitch. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Yeah, and you know what? I think we're going to see a lot of this. He's pitching backwards a little bit here. It's a two-strike cut fastball running in, and that guy is no match up there at the plate. Martin Prado now, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And he's probably not going to throw too many first-pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Hits are even right now at five aside. Has a look, now the pitch. 0-2 oh, now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. He's set, now the pitch. They'll try another curveball there, but this one misses. It's one and two. Still no fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. Now the veteran deals on one and two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Two men are on with two men out. Here he comes again, 1-2. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. Two-two pitch on the way. Whoa. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Boy, nothing's really come easy for him so far on the mound. He's had to work for everything, and now he's got to deal with another full count. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Full count offering on its way. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position. But I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Jared Saltalamacchia will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. Now the first pitch. And there's the fastball from Lopez. It's strike one. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning. So that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. Pause, now the pitch. And that misses one and one. And he's got to be careful now that some of these borderline calls don't get him started going downhill. Yeah, and sometimes it's really easy to dwell on those, but you have to keep looking forward. It's not easy, but you've got to do it if you want to have success. The one one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run. 
but you can't just throw a cookie in there because he can bring in four with one swing. Now the 2-1. Swing, and this is hit hard but foul toward the third base dugout. Deep breath, now the 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Marlins leave all three. They're up 3-2. Three to two. Joe Pennant will stride into the box as he'll get things started for the Giants in their half of the sixth. First pitch on the way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Now the 2-0. Here we go. Yep. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here he comes on two and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Brandon Crawford step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Comes set, now the pitch. Now a ball grounded to short, this could be two. To Gordon for one. On to Morse, and it's a double play. Oh, that's a nice double play, but let's focus in here on the turn at second base. He's got a base runner just breathing down his neck. One second baseman coming down hard on another. They know what the deal is there. They're gonna try to take each other out. So that's great concentration, great mechanics to make sure he turns this and then takes the shot. Into the box, Joaquin Arias. As the first pitch to him is lifted out in the air out towards shallow right field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Uh, for all the line drives, you get caught out there. You'll take one of these once in a while. Well, I don't know what you call this thing. A little fly ball or a little flare. But you see everybody converging on it and nobody getting there. Casey McGee will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. He's ready now to pitch. Here we go. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike.
He's ready. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The right-hander deals on one and two. And this is fouled at the plate. Again, a one-two. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Here's another one-two. So two balls and two strikes now. When a pitcher's close to getting through a quick inning, this is where you really need to grind out your at-bats, especially as a bottom-of-the-order guy, so this is a good job so far. That's the 2-2 pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's another 2-2. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. Yelich will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Giants leave one. They're down 3-2. Back here in San Francisco, it's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Gene Machi is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Donovan Solano. We'll stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Now here's the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1 1. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. One, two. Hard hit down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. Fouled back. Another one, two delivery. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Getting that first out is always critical in a one-run ball game. And they can certainly use a quick seventh inning. Ichiro Suzuki will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 51, Ichiro Suzuki. And here's a called strike now to the 41-year-old vet. It's nothing in one. Here's the pitch. Out in front, but this is skied into straightaway right. Over now is Pence to make the grab. Two away now. D. Gordon will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh.
Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Here's a 1-0. Fouled back. Now the 1-1. One, one. And that misses. Two and one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. The 2-1. Two, to 2-2 two and two now. Two, two. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Miami down in order, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Nick Massett will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Nick Massett. Nori Aoki will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And the pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Uh, and not only is that going to put the tying run on base to start the bottom of the seventh, that's also going to get this crowd involved a bit more, too. Angel Pagan will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch coming. And this is taken outside for ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. The next pitch. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. Hitters count 2-0. and Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Nobody out, runner on first. Ready on two and one. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here's the two and two offering. Now a swing and a ground ball. He'll go to the bag for one. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. You know, that's the one that you just don't see that often. Safe at second base, but out at first. Just shows you the speed he has at first base that he was able to beat the throw into second. Here's Buster Posey now. And a ball 1-0. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. one -oh on the way. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. 
Ozuna is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. That ball was hit well and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead he hit it to the big part of the ballpark and he's retired. Hunter Pence will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Now the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Two out here and a runner at second. He's set. Now the pitch. And no offer that time from Pence as it evens the count at one and one. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Right back to the outside part of the plate, but that misses as well. It's 2 and 1. All right, now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So, as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but. Even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. The 2-2 two -two coming. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. He knows a drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. Do not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two, here it comes to the right side, and that's going to get through. It's a base hit. Around third now is Aoki. The throw to the plate, and that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. Well, nothing will put a smile on your manager's face quite like a two-out RBI. Well, things weren't looking good. He looked like he was going to get stranded out there, but he comes through to drive him home. So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Brandon Belt will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And here's the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. The 1-0 home. Swinging a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are all tied at three apiece. Christian Yelich will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. the pitch and now he drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out on the barehanded attempt gets by him here and that ought to go as a bunt single let's check this out again this is in show motion and you'll see how he shows bunt late he's got his head right on the baseball watching it all the way under the barrel of the bat that's as good a form as you're going to see Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First offering on the way. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. 
That is impressive speed right there when you can still steal a base on a slide step. Wow, that was nice. The 1-0. And a bouncing ball, foul. One one pitch on the way. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. The one two. Splitter. Two and two. Oh, that's wrong. That's so wrong. Here now the two two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Marcelo Zuna waits on deck. Here's the full count offering. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The next 3-2. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick. And that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Time now to give you a look at our starter comparison in this 3-3 ballgame. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. Marcelo Zuna will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Here's the first offering. Low with the splitter, ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. one -oh. Here's a line drive into left center. Will that get the job done? It's a base hit. Around third is Yelich being waved home. And that's going to break our tie as the runner scores from second to make it a 4-3 ball game. First baseman, Michael Morris. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to take over on the mound, and it's the veteran left-hander Jeremy Affel. Michael Morse will stand in with a run in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. First pitch to him. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one. High and deep to center. Catch made out there by Pagan. And there are two gone now. Martin Prado will stand in. Base on balls his last time. First pitch coming. That's There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Has a look, now the pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. He'll go the short way to panic at second, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Giants three. Joe Panic will dig in. He singled his last time around. Second baseman, 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch coming. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Here it comes. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now the pitch. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. There's the lefties offering on one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And that ball is rifled out of that time, and it just about took him into left field. Somehow he gets his glove down there and makes a nice play. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford, as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. one -oh pitch now. Now that's back up the middle and it'll get on through for a base hit. Time run at first now with one gone. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Into the box now, Joaquin Arias, as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Now the 1-0. And the 1-0 is sent out to straightaway center field. Ozuna will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Well. The only good news that comes out of this at-bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at-bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Gregor Blanco will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number seven. Lifts this one the other way out to left center field. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. They still trail it here, four to three. Sergio Romo come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Jared Saltalamacchia will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Now here's the pitch. Chopper foul. Come on now, let's get a K right here. Now here it comes. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. You know, 
seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. Stepping in now, Donovan Solano. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend. Here's the 1-0. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. The 2-0. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. The 2-1 home. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And I suspect we might see a pinch hitter here, and if that's the case, here's what's left on the Marlins bench. Adani Echevarria will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number three, Adani Echevarria. This is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Mm. He did not like that one bit. Now, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. He's set now to pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. You just fire that thing in there. Runners on first with one down. Ready now on one and one. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. And he's had a high strike zone all night, so even if you're on the bench, you got to be aware of that. Here comes a 1-2. Lays off 2-2 two two now. Runner at first here, one man out. The 2-2. Two two. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Aoki is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. D. Gordon will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now here's the first pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It sails a bit, and he will get in the second base as the tying run. Well, I think we all know this guy is the whole package out there. He's homered earlier in the ball game. Now he shows off those wheels by taking second here on the stolen base. From the stretch. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0 and 2. Yeah, you can't afford to be selected now. You've got to expand that zone. Try and put something in play.
He's ready now. The pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. The next 0 2. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. One left for Miami, but they hold on to a 4 3 lead. Steve Ciszek is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Steve Ciszek. Nori Aoki will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while. And when he does, he can forget it. Now here's the pitch. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. Pitch on the way. And a sinker Ball. dips too low there. Strike Into the dirt, in fact. One ball, two strikes. Here comes the one two. And he two, lays two. off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the two and two home. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Foul. Another 2-2 two -two offering. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. There you see Angel Pagan. He'll bat next. Payoff pitch home. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Angel Pagan will step in, one for four in the ball game. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Throw on to first is in time, and the Giants are down to their final out now. Yeah, and now just one out away from wrapping up this one, and that would certainly be a good way to start the series if they could take game one on the road. Buster Posey will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch to him. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Here it comes. Taken oh. called strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. Now 0-2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. Now the pitch. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Now the 1-2. And this is fouled straight back. Again, a 
ground two. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well, there's another good win for these guys. That pushes their streak up to five in a row now. And it's been a total team effort. Good pitching, good hitting, good defense. They're doing it all right now. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. That's a wrap here tonight. Eric Harris, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Marlins win it 4-3. Good night from San Francisco.